<sighs> okay, let's get to it. <laughs> Hey, what's up, y'all? My name is Sebastian Mino Vicelli. I'm the multimedia editor here at Golden Gate Express. So when the news broke in January about the COVID-19 vaccine, I was hyper aware that this is history in the making. Um, I was one of the very fortunate Express reporters to have the privilege to go to Mashu Fallen Center and witness the first vaccine dose being administered at Estes State. The eligible recipients at the time were individuals who were city residents or workers who were 65 and older. I couldn't help but think of my grandma, who is 80 years old and currently lives in Los Angeles. You know, if she had lived in San Francisco, she would have had a better chance to get an appointment. You know, she would have been in line. Around early March, my dad, who works as an ultrasound technician in Los Angeles, was able to get the vaccine. My friends, who were classified as essential workers because they work in education or they work in the food service industry, were also able to get the vaccine. So around mid-March, my mom and grandma were also vaccinated as well. So I'll admit, I was feeling the vaccine FOMO, a fear of missing out, uh, because I, I was just waiting for my turn. But as of April 14th, the city and county of San Francisco put a pause on the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. You know, I was excited to get the dose because in December 1st, I was infected with COVID-19. I was the unlucky percentage of the Latinx community who got sick. My family who lives in Los Angeles also got sick too during the winter surge. We were constantly messaging each other just to see that we were all alive. So just recently, my family was able to celebrate my birthday with me. They were vaccinated, which meant according to CDC guidelines, they could safely travel around the state of California. So don't try to cancel my family. Um, almost like a birthday present. I was able to book my turn for April 14th. I would be able to join the group of vaccinated folk to be part of this new normal. When the needle made contact to my skin, a survivor by Destiny's Child played over the amp. And that was poetic in a weird uh, COVID way. My girlfriend and I survived COVID-19. My family survived it. You know, they're, they're all vaccinated. I got the first dose of Pfizer, but you know, I'll, I'll be all right. I scheduled my second appointment right there at my Shuf Wellness Center. Now, after I sat there in the recovery section, I was able to go out and continue my reporting during the same day. I just had a sore arm. The second day rolled around and I was experiencing some mental fog and exhaustion. And you know, after I took a nap and I slammed a cup of coffee, it kind of just went away. So there's privilege you have in the US by being able to get the vaccine. It's free of charge. No proof of citizenship or insurance is needed. Pero mi familia en Ecuador, ojalá que nos podemos ver pronto. Sin distanciamiento social, están siempre en mi corazón. My name is Sebastian Mino Buccelli. I'm the multimedia editor of Golden Gate Express. Listen to my podcast, Gator Talk Pod, wherever you uh, podcast. All right, bye. Almost vaccinated. <laughs> <laughs>